In this video, I'll show you how to execute a Power Automate flow within Power BI report. So I have opened Power BI desktop and from here, I can just go ahead and click on blank report. And I have an option to use a sample data or import data from Excel or even get data from another source. So if I click on get data, I can get data from Dataverse or it can be any data source, uh, but for this example, let's pick up, say, Dataverse, and it will authenticate you, and then it will ask you to select the environment. So I'm selecting the environment from where the data will be pulled in. Uh, and if it asks for you to authenticate, then you go ahead and authenticate yourself. Now here, I may have some table, like say, airlines. So I've got Jacob underscore airlines. So this lists down all the airlines of some of the airlines in the world. Uh, and it's a basic table which has a name and some other uh, metadata related to airlines. Now, once I'm happy with this, I'll just go ahead and load it. Now, this has nothing to do with the Power Automate flow, which I'm going to show you, uh, but uh, I'm just uh, importing some data source. So I'm giving you a scenario where, why, where, why would you execute a Power Automate flow within a Power BI report? Now, think about it. Like if you have a Power BI dashboard or a Power BI report, which gives some vital information about the database. Okay, so the database can be uh, a real time system or it can be, uh, say, a customer service uh, scenario where you will see that, okay, now there are five tickets which are currently pending in queue, and out of that, two are high priority, and two of them need some uh, more resolution time or it has gone in that escalation mode. Now, from a report itself, if you click a button, then you can perform various action. So one of the scenario would be like, say, if you uh, think that like, say, uh, there is a ticket uh, which has been open since say long and an administrator or maybe a manager needs to be escalated about it, then the manager can open the Power BI report, have a look into the dashboard and say, okay, these are the ticket which uh, needs uh, say further communication or maybe intervention of the manager, then manager can maybe click a button and then maybe some action might trigger. So we'll keep this very simple. I've already imported this table. So let me uh, go into the visual and maybe I will just add a simple table, okay? So this table will, uh, will have a name of the airline and yeah, I'll just keep it simple as is just a name of the airline and maybe let me pick up an, another column, maybe email, okay? Now this is like some random data, okay? So think about it like this is like some kind of a report and now this is like a manager screen, okay? So manager comes to know that, oh, this is like the list of airlines and then there are some requests have come from this airline and some of them need some uh, response from my end, okay? And which needs to be some sort of, uh, I need some sort of an automation around it. So there is a control within the visualization named as Power Automate for Power BI. Now, if I click on this, I can add that Power Automate visual over here, okay? So if I just expand this, now that there is a specific way to operate this. Now, it's it will give you some in, information, like it says create a button that triggers automated task without leaving Power BI. So you first select an environment, add a data, set up your flow, apply and share, and then format your button. So here, if I click on environment, I can pick up the right environment from here. So Girish Dev is the right environment and I'm okay with this, okay? Now, just by looking into this visual, you'll not be able to perform anything, okay? Now, there is a uh, three dots uh, you see on the top, you click on edit. Now, the moment you click on edit, it will take you to that Microsoft Power Automate interface. Now, within that interface, it will start loading the Power Automate screen. So you have an option to pick up uh, the templates. So there are a few templates like update an Excel table from Power BI or send a Teams message from Power BI or create an item for a SharePoint list from Power BI or trigger a Power BI button with a custom action uh, and create a task from Power BI or send an email to my audience from Power BI. You can feel free to pick up any template which suits your need or you can go ahead and say new. Okay, so new either template or instant cloud flow. So let me click on new instant cloud flow. 
it will automatically add this triggering point so the triggering point is power bi button clicked so you don't need any additional information over here okay just click on new step so what we're going to do is like okay if the manager sees some data on the dashboard and they will have a button so that once they click on the button some action may happen now just for the sake of demo i will keep it very simple i will just say send an email okay so let's pick up send an email v2 outlook connector and here i have an option to uh, send it to uh, say hard-coded value so i can just type in alex name and then alex's value will appear or maybe i can you know like i can make use of some dynamic component as well so let me do one thing let me send an email to myself okay so i will just send it to myself and i'll say something from power bi or maybe i'll just say airline escalation manager intervention needed and then we can draft the email you know like you say hello manager uh, please check the outstanding uh, items requested by partner airlines okay it can be any request okay uh, and then you click on save okay so what we have done we have created a power automate flow uh, the trigger point is power via button clicked which it has automatically given we need we didn't select any trigger with this template it has automatically come with it make sure that you rename the flow you know so if i click over here i'll just say uh, say manager escalation airline something some some meaningful name once you're done with it click on save and then you can click on save and apply okay so I'll just click on save and apply so our flow is ready now now let's go back go back so this is an important step you click on back to report now what happens once you click on back to report you get a button in power or uh, power bi okay so this is that button which will trigger that flow okay so i have this button i have this some some sort of data which is stored in power bi uh, and then maybe just by looking into this record set i think okay american airlines has some problem and then i need to coordinate with the corresponding ground staff i'll click on run flow and then like some notification will go to the corresponding manager so that's our fictitious example okay now all good uh, what we will do is like i will just go into my email so go over here and let me open outlook and here i should technically receive an email if i click a button but how do we execute that report now let's go back to power bi and then over here now this is a authoring interface right now how do we click this button okay so if i just click this button nothing will happen it will just allow me to work on the design aspect so what you need to do just press control and then click now the moment you click it will show you triggering as uh, animated uh, GIF, and then uh, in the back end an email will be sent if the flow runs successfully so let's see that in action so as you see over here yes we have received an email airline escalation manager intervention needed oh i spelled it wrong uh, and yes this is the uh, email flow which we get okay so what we have learned from this entire uh, video is that there is an option in power bi to trigger a power automate flow there are some steps we you need to follow the flow can have a logic now we have created a simple logic of sending out an email it can be any complex logic it can update multiple systems it can send email it can do a whole bunch of things uh, which power automate can allow you to do that so so the possibility is endless i've just given you a simple example just to show that this is possible also from a button perspective now if i click on this table i can perform some uh, say changes in terms of visuals uh, but if i click on button uh, here you will see that uh, there is no specific thing which you can do but you can say button text you can just say instead of run flow you can 
just type in whatever text you want so i'll just say uh, escalate to manager so that it looks very contextual uh, button we have default we have on hover on selected uh, so maybe on hover i'll say uh, font color to be red or something like that see you can do that and like you can play around with the button text okay if you do not want button text you can just turn it off but i'll just keep it and fill is on so default background color is blue i can keep some weird color okay and if we go to general then we have other options like tile data format effects and all those things you can play around but uh, just to give you a, a simple understanding that this button can be customized as per your need uh, i'll just keep this button very small within the report and this will be functional now what we have done we have just created this power bi desktop report right now this is in my machine now in order to run it i just press control and then i clicked on it and then it sent out an email now what if i want to publish to the service okay so i'll just say save as and maybe i'll just put in the download folder and i'll just call it as airline escalation and i will click on file and now publish so make sure you log into the correct environment so i already have a couple of workspace so let me go into say girish workspace click on select and now this power bi report is getting published to a workspace now i say got it and if i'm if i navigate to app.powerbi.com so maybe let me close this go to the workspace so here if i go to girish workspace i should be able to see the report which i have published so so let me see so airline esc is the report now if i want to view the report i'll just click on it and then the report will be shown so this is the same report which was created in power bi desktop it is just that you know currently you are in the uh, interface of uh, power bi service now here there is no need to press control or something you just click on this button and then automatically an email will be sent because that's what the logic is all about so if you see over here i should be able to see an another email and again it works on that similar fashion so first we created a power bi desktop uh, report and then publish it to power bi service and then we have also executed in power bi service as well as in power bi desktop to show you that interface between two different systems and how power automate interacts with power bi so that's it folks thanks for watching